Wildcats? Isn't that the mascot from High School Musical? Well, they have an Instagram. Look at the mess. What? The clock is literally still ticking. COVID made it hard for a lot of people. It kind of changed our lifestyle. I don't want to walk down there then. It was a what? A beep. I don't like beeps in abandoned places. Okay, They're not beep. good. What's up today, Rowan fam? I hope you guys have been having a wonderful week. If you're new around the channel, my name is Steve Ronan and we go on epic adventures. And I'm really excited to be taking you guys on an adventure today. In this video, I'll be showing you guys an abandoned school that I filmed back during the summer. Now, when I was in the area, I heard rumors that this abandoned school was shut down by COVID in March of 2020, and the kids had to undergo online schooling. It was then hit by a tornado during the same month and both the elementary school and middle school were severely damaged, leaving them unusable. That's Wilson Middle School crumbling in the EF3 tornado. We want to walk you through these shots. It begins with the front door shattering, papers blow around, and lightning is seen from inside the building. Now, I only got the chance to explore the middle school because the elementary school already got demolished. But here's the good news. A few weeks after exploring the place, the school board got accepted $53 million from the insurance carrier. And their plan is to demolish the schools and build brand new ones. I believe the school that we're exploring in this video is now gone and the new schools are still undergoing construction. Well, demolition work has finally started here at Tornado Damage West Wilson Middle, and it's more than just walls coming down. It's served as an added layer of healing and moving forward for those who have needed it the most. So I think this video is quite amazing because my friends and I got to see the place before the school is completely gone, filmed it and documented it with this video and photos. I think this video is great because it kind of preserves the memories of those that used to go to this school. Like, can you imagine? There's been teachers teaching in this school for the past 20 years and new generations of kids um, graduating from it all of a sudden to just have it gone. Also, really quick, I just want to announce that I have a new vlog channel. I highly recommend you guys check it out. So if you want, click the link in the description and go subscribe right now. Anyway guys, enough talk. Before the adventure starts, I want you guys to smash the like button and let's get on with the adventure. Enjoy. You can see some of the tornado damage. Even that sign down there got destroyed. I can't believe like all the gym equipment is still around. I mean, this is just a middle school. I believe so. I mean, it could be a high school, if anything. It'd be kind of weird to have middle schoolers working out. I bet the barbells were stolen where you would do your squats. It's probably my favorite exercise. I wonder if the water still works. Nope, I guess not. Oh, we have the miracle on DVD. That's one of the best movies ever. Still inside. Dang, they still have it. Still got the Gatorade bottles. I guess this is just like it's just a storage closet. Oh man, it's dusty in here. I love how everything's just left inside. It's usually not like that for abandoned schools. Wildcats? Isn't that the mascot from High School Musical? We can call this the High School Musical School. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty cool stop sign. Let's check the closet. Look at this, guys. We still got these golf clubs here. They're clean looking too. 
Wow. Spotless. It's like hundreds of them here in this room. Chairs and desks stacked right over there. How can you apply this class to improve your life and other people? Yeah, this was definitely a gym class, but they also probably taught health and fitness. And that's why the desks are right here. They must have had a lot of students. I like that. I like what's written on the board. It takes no talent to hustle. Quitting lasts forever. Never surrender to the quit. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> yeah, my bad. Oh, I can't even get to you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, so that's pretty cool. We got to explore the fitness area and uh, the training room. I want to find the gymnasium next. It must be close by. Unless this was the gymnasium, but I'm not seeing no basketball hoop. It was pretty cool to see the mascot. But now I just have like high school musical stuck in my head. Wow, look at all the lockers. And I feel like these tables are for the cafeteria. Starting to see the hallways. I can't wait to start exploring the other classrooms because this is a big school. All right, well, let's begin exploring some of the classrooms. I'm curious to see if there's anything inside. Whoa. You can tell that people have been in here, probably teenagers. There's like so much paint just splattered around. That's still hanging up there. I guess they were uh, teaching some music in here too. We still have all the paints. Well, they have an Instagram. Look at the mess. Oh, someone had fun over there. Here's the calendar. It'll probably tell us around the time when it was abandoned. And yep, March 2020. And this is a note to the teacher. That's sweet. I wonder what all the students are doing now or where they had to go. That COVID pretty much f***ed up a lot of schools. But it's crazy to see so much destruction in just one year. We still have some of the writing on the whiteboard. It hasn't been erased. All the art supplies. Hmm. I guess an animal walked through here. A lot of the supplies are like unopened. What a waste. It saddens me a lot to see this all. I'm just curious to know like how the kids are doing, how the teachers are doing, because they had to get laid off. COVID made it hard for a lot of people. It's the schools that got affected, it's the theaters, a bunch of other stuff. It kind of changed our, our lifestyle. Kids are now being homeschooled, there's Zoom calls. Online schooling doesn't seem like a bad idea. People are able to work from home too. It sounds all nice, but I think I do miss the social interaction. Yeah, this is so spooky. This must be the uh, music class. It's so windy. I can feel a draft coming in. Dang, look at all the music sheets. They're just scattered everywhere on the floor. I wonder if there's still like instruments left. But I'm not seeing anything. I feel like they had to be stolen. Here's a trophy. It's like from 2015. All right, I got excited. I was hoping for Gatorade. 
the practice room? Looks pretty small to be a practice room. Damn, they had t-shirts. Not gonna lie, it's creepy exploring an abandoned school. Feels like I'm in The Walking Dead. And the wind and the draft is blowing, it's making these weird noises everywhere. Bruh, bruh, what's here? Oh, it's in another art room. Oh, there's so much. You have all the artwork from the kids just hang on that door. Hmm. I like what they did with this trash barrel. Okay, there's a lot of hate on this wall. Whoever did it is like messed up in the head. Oh, check that out. All the paintings. What? The clock is literally still ticking. It's been a while since I've explored an abandoned school. Usually they're all empty. Um, the first school I ever explored was one of my favorites. Everything was still left inside. Actually, it was pretty empty, but it was a big, big high school. Uh, this is my first school that I would say has everything just left behind. I mean, we even got Johnny Depp, our boy Johnny Depp just sleeping on the ground. All right. I mean, I did come here with the gang. I haven't been seeing them. I don't know where they went. Okay, my headlamp keeps flashing, which probably means it's low battery. Hopefully it doesn't die anytime soon. I think I'm nearing to the main entrance of the school. No way, guys. So I legit just found the gymnasium. It's really dark in here. The floor is really bad, it's like cracking. Here to film on this side. The light is facing from this direction. Yeah, my my camera's capabilities in the light is pretty good. Like it's really dark from my eyes. The basketball hoop got shattered. Looks like someone threw the fire hydrant. Wow, look at the flags. That's telling all of their accomplishments. Champions 2012, sectional runner-up 2012. So they had a volleyball team, a dance team, girls basketball, boys basketball, boys cross country. They played a lot of sports here. And from the looks of it, they were winning a lot. Like every year, it said they were champions or runner-ups. I was hoping to take a good photo in the gym, but there's really no angle and there's not enough good lighting in here. I'm bummed out about that. Whenever you explore a band school, you have to take a gym shot. Here's the locker room. We even have some name tags still around. Bunch of snacks, what? Oh, they probably kept it in the refrigerator. Check this out, we have photos of their basketball team. 2017 to 2018, and this is 2019. This is the boys' shower. It smells really bad, it's probably really moldy. We even have some small ones right here. Clothes inside, the shoes are just left behind. There's no way I can still hear the clock ticking in this office. And there it goes. It's so dark. It's the front entrance. Now it's a little dark, but here are some photos of the uh, ladies soccer team, dance team, a football team, and this was just last year, the same year when it got abandoned. These were all the students that had to leave. <laughs> Someone spray painted stuff on these photos. 
We're stepping now into the auditorium. It's so eerily quiet in here. Oh, there's the flag. I'm legit hearing bats. Or birds. There's probably a bird's nest. But I mean, it is dark enough here for bats to live in. So now we're on the stage. Why do I get the feeling I'm not really alone? I still haven't seen my friends anywhere. I can't even hear footsteps right now. What the heck? Oh, these are prop knives. Oh, we still have some of the uniforms. I think it's time. I try to find where my friends are. So I just found my friends. Uh, we pretty much checked out everything on the right wing. Now we're going to the left wing side of the school. Lunch detention? <laughs> Interesting. How you guys been? You found something really good? Yeah. Said something like the best part? Of the school? Yeah, it's my personal favorite. Go around that corner. Okay. That Pretty dangerous. All right, everyone's saying that this room is so sick. I wonder what it is. What could it? Whoa! That room is cool too. Yeah, that's really cool. Dude, I promise. Go through there and go to the right hallway and walk all the yeah. way down. All right. So Both of these rooms are super cool. Dang. Wow. Yeah, this is great. All the rooms so far that I've been exploring weren't really that great for photos, but these rooms over here are amazing. Looks like we're in some sort of laboratory. Damn. This is a shot, bro. I feel like I'm in a zombie apocalypse right now, and the world just ended. So I love how everything's just growing. There's leaves, there's moss everywhere. This is pretty unique. I've never seen anything like this before in the urbex scene. Yeah, we had the periodic table of the elements. Yeah, I am loving this room. It's very mushy to walk but still so cool. The lighting is just perfect with the ceiling like this. It's crazy to think this was once a thriving classroom. The teacher would just be sitting right there on his desk. Now all the rooms are pretty messed up and destroyed. I like that globe right there. I mean, this classroom looks amazing too, but not as good as the other one. opposite side there's another classroom and that's pretty cool too it's like a lab class the roof just torn apart probably from like a tornado damn that's crazy it's definitely like a science class is that a skull we got a nerf gun in here That's wild. I wonder what type of skull that is. It has to be real too. Creepy. This belonged to someone. And their shoes. They must have forgotten about it. 
Those are nice. Yeah, I can't believe this, man. What a day. Kinda sucks, it's starting to rain now. But uh, we're gonna check out this other part of the school. And apparently the power's still on, the water's still running, but we're all gonna go together because, I don't know, we can't leave each other behind for that. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do guys, but we gotta check out the principal's room. I wanna see that really quick. Dang. That's crazy. I love how the door's still on the hinge. <laughs> Oh, this is a counselor's office? Yeah. Okay. So the principal's office doesn't have, so there's only one or two places it could be. I think it's either in here, which yeah, I think it could be this couch. Um, this was the principal's office, literally, or the counselor would stay in this room. It looks more comfy, and <laughs> they probably do a lot of therapy in there. But um, yeah, so I think all in all, this entire room that we're in is where the principal stayed. Yeah, like right here was probably the main desk where the principal would sit. This is part of the school that remains to be not really destroyed. And we're saving this for last. I don't know. I never came this way. Yeah, that was on. And that one? Yeah, those were on. Okay. I was like, oh, we should go. <laughs> Damn, this is pretty sick. Yeah, I wonder why this part is just kept nice. Maybe they're trying to uh, repair the place. <laughs> Get some gimbal shots. <laughs> Dude, is this a lab? Yeah. What? Okay. Water. I didn't realize those were like... Wow, you just turn on the fan? Yeah. I turned on what you mean, the AC. What? The AC. Yeah, it'll turn on when we walk in. I know, but it turned on when we walked in again. Yeah. Maybe it's... So it's, it's motion. Yeah, I think it's fine. Ah, oh, dude, I bet you're right. Wait. Because remember, when we walked in the first time, it turns on. Yeah, so this happened last time we walked in and immediately kicks on. As soon as we walk in, oh. we just walked in again and immediately kicks on. Okay, I think we should be okay. It's super efficient. Yeah, yeah. wow. I mean, it doesn't waste energy doing it that way, but like since we walk in. Right. Damn. And this part was in middle school too? Yeah. yeah. This is the part I think it's destroyed. So it still has electricity and everything, running water. <laughs> What do you see? What is this? Oh, what the? Is that like a uh, to like clean yourself, like sanitize yourself? Oh yeah, it might be an eye station. Is it locked? Yeah. yeah. Might be one of those like eye cleaning stations, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or, like, if you get shit All right. Is this the one? Yeah, it's all right. Somebody buzzed out the window, though. Somebody buzzed out the window. Nice. Uh, keep the door open somehow. Maybe put something there. Yeah. Whoa. Step back. 
Not sure. Sheldon? Sheldon? Laboratory systems? So this was a lab. I think it was used to like dis disinfect stuff. That's yeah. cool. Could be wrong. It's true. So yes. Yeah. Power and everything. Gotta have a dick. Yep, gotta have one. We don't know what this is, guys. If you happen to know, leave a comment down below. Yeah, what Steve said. <laughs> what <Yeah>. Steve said. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> One of us among our channels. I think it's a it's a lantern maker. Lantern. It makes lanterns. It's, it's a, a 3D prints lantern. I'm going to hit up Sheldon Laboratory Systems and ask. Here's the Sheldon. <laughs> Excuse me, Sheldon. Sheldon? That's such a weird name. I wonder how long this light's been on. Sheldon! How long do you think this light's been on? Forever. Yeah, this is the real thing to disinfect yourself. Right here, you have the emergency eye wash too. An emergency shower, in case you got some chemicals on you. I'm not gonna really check out every single room because by the looks of it, they all look the same. What is that water? I put soap on my hands. Oh. Washing my hands in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Here you are. Is this, this is this is what they look like. It, is what this, the fuck? Is this as dirty as you thought it would be? No, it's actually very clean compared yeah. to what I thought it would be. Are you just excited to be <laughs> So a lady's bathroom is basically like this, but without, without these. Okay. The exact same. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Mind blown. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this guy taking precautions, washing his hands. Give. We're in a pandemic. Follow this man. We're in a pandemic. <laughs> This is a good role model right here. We'll tag it in the bottom. Tag the soap company. I don't want to walk down there then. That was a what? A beep. I don't like beeps in abandoned places. They're beep. not good. Yeah. So we're on our way out, so I say we walk down. And if there is something that goes off, we get out of here. Abandoned Nashville says send it. Okay. Send it. All right. Send it. We will just film the whole time. It's all in each other. Yeah. I mean, it looks like people have been walking down here. Yeah. Like Footprints. You don't know. I thought it was pollen at first. Alright, this is the end of it. Pretty much checked out the entire school, guys, so I'll see you guys when I get to the car. We're not going out those doors. I got a sprained ankle. He's got tight pants. My pants are a little too tight and not stretchy. <laughs> you want to fly your drone? A bunch of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Valid excuses. Uh, I personally like taking the way we came in from to get out. So I always do that. I think that's the safest thing to do. All right guys, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell for more adventures. For the month of December, I plan to drop two videos per week every Saturday and Wednesday between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. So expect a lot to come out. Besides that, I just want to remind you to check out the new vlog channel. I really want to get a lot of you guys going onto there because I've been uploading a video every week which showcases more behind the scenes of my trips, my life. In case you guys are wondering where I am, I'm still in Romania. I haven't been home yet. I'm gonna be here for another two weeks. I have an opportunity to explore some abandoned places here. So I'm quite excited. That wasn't really in the plans, but uh, yeah, I think there's gonna be some exciting things to film in this beautiful country. But till next time guys, don't forget to love the life of freedom water and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace. Thanks for watching.